What is poppin' YouTube? It's Sydney Island here. That's Island with the Y, not an S. And today we are going to talk about angel numbers and synchronicities. Okay, so I'm going to try to explain what these mean to the best of my ability. Okay, um, I am not a specialist in angel numbers or synchronicities. I just have mad crazy experiences uh, with angel numbers and synchronicities to a point where it's supernatural. Um, and I just want to talk about it because I have a YouTube channel uh, all about astrology and zodiac signs and I've talked about tarot cards and I talk about a lot of spiritual stuff on my channel and I want to introduce more spiritual talk to my channel um, and more of my own spiritual experiences. I um, I talked about how I had a psychic vision, which was kind of, it was like comedy. It was funny, you know. Um, how I like the blonde, by the way. Check it out. Just, let me just turn to the back. Modeling for y'all. Okay. So, anyways, um, I want to talk about this because this is something that, like, the experience with angel numbers and synchronicities have followed me for years. Um, I'm 24, and I've been experiencing this since I was, like, 19. Um, the reoccurring of numbers, and I call them angel numbers because that's what the internet called it, frankly. You know, I didn't know what it was uh, until I Googled it, and, it, and I was like, okay, they call it angel numbers. And that's when you have a reoccurring number over and over again. And they also call it a synchronicity when you keep seeing the same numbers and you start to catch on to it. And you start to notice it and you start to realize certain vibes that come when you see those numbers or or certain vibes that are around you when you see those numbers and you do certain things and, and you know like when you pick up certain habits you start to see those numbers I'm sorry if I seem out of breath because I kind of am when you pick up a certain habit let's say you've been meditating more um, or you've been you know researching chakras more or whatever it is or you just been You've been delving more into spiritual practices more. And then you start to see 11-11 a lot more than you usually do. It's almost like every time you look at the clock, you see either 1-11 or 11-11. Or as soon as you wake up, your eyes is on the clock and it says 11-11. This has happened to me many, many times. Um, and there has been times in my life where I've had like a big, long period of synchronicities and it, and it went on for months. Of like just repeated numbers okay so let me just shut up and get straight into it okay so I've had this experience with the numbers 303 so this is very significant for me because I was born on April 30th 30 at 2 30 p.m. 30 again and I kept seeing the number 303 and I have my notes right here and I put the experience it's crazy oh my god it's so crazy y'all like Okay, so it was, there was this, I think this girl's friend who I stayed at, her apartment number was 303, right? I believe it was 303. And I was sitting in, yeah, I, I really feel like her apartment number was 303. And I was staying with her for a couple of weeks. Um, and I was watching the movie The Matrix. And in the movie, the apartment number to somebody's apartment, somebody's room, on the door it said 303 and I was like what I'm in an apartment with the number 303 and I, and I have seen 303 before mind you I've seen this synchronicity many times before I'm looking up here because I'm trying to make sure the angle is right yes us youtubers can be pretty anal about lighting and angles because you know viewers can be pretty anal about lighting and stuff so you know y'all make us kind of like you know <laughs> real picky about the stuff okay so I was watching the movie Matrix, and this is significant because the movie Matrix, it, the woke community knows that the Matrix movie is a woke-ass movie, okay? It's a movie talking about what the real world is really about. You know, it's a movie talking about how this reality that we live in is not as real as we think it is. It talks about how this reality is an illusion. And to see 303 while I'm watching that movie... During the energy that I was in at that time, I kept seeing that number and I was I was having a spiritual awakening around that time. And I, I'll talk about my spiritual awakening in another video. Um, and I saw that and I was like, what? No way. No freaking way. And then literally, I believe it was the same day I watched How, How to Get Away with Murder, uh, which is a TV show. Um, and on the freaking 
hotel, it was somebody's apartment door in the TV show, their door said 303. And I was like, what the, what? And twice in one day, two films. And within those films, somebody's apartment door said 303. And I'm staying in somebody's apartment of 303. And I was born April 30th, born on April 30th at 2.30 p.m. Huh? <laughs> Backtrack. Hold on. Stop. And it don't stop there. It don't stop there. Okay? There was this time when me and my college roommate was driving to go grocery uh, grocery shopping. And on our way to go grocery shopping, <laughs> there was this trash can, this big old trash bin. And on it was spray painted 303. I saw it as we were driving by. She didn't see it. We was talking about something. And as we drove by, my eye caught 303. It was like this, this jagged uh 303 in white letters spray painted on somebody's trash can i don't know why somebody would paint 303 on their trash can i i don't know but as we drove by i saw 303 spray painted and y'all i'm not lying i'm not making this up i would have no reason to make this up this is this is real and i don't i don't understand it and i, I talked to my roommate about it and she said that she had a friend who kept seeing reoccurring numbers over and over again that followed her everywhere and then she mentioned the movie 24 starring Jim Carrey where um I never saw the movie but the movie is about how the number 24 followed him everywhere even in his birth date and you know I saw the preview and it was the number 24 literally everything in his life was reduced to the number 24 and I don't know exactly what it means but for me I feel like it means that everything in your life is divinely planned um there's some higher entity there's some godlike entity um, that, uh, well, I would say God himself, like strategically organized your life. Um, and once you start to wake up to what this real reality is and what it means, you start to see numbers and you probably was, it probably was always in your life, but because you weren't woke, you, you didn't wake up, you didn't see it or you didn't notice it. But once you start to wake up, then you start to notice it. Or it could have just started popping up as soon as you started waking up. I'm not exactly sure. But as soon as I started having my spiritual awakening when I was like 20 or 21, I started seeing the same numbers over and over and over again. And 303 was one of the numbers. And I had to write down notes because there's so much stuff to this whole thing. And y'all, I'm looking at my notes. I'm like, okay, okay, let's keep it going. Let's keep the flow going. So the synchronicity of 303 went away, right? It went away for a couple of years. And recently, 303 came back into my life. Oh, yeah, and I have to throw in that. Um, Y'all remember the music group 303? I used to listen to them all the time in high school. That was like my favorite group. Like, I was into that white boy rap music back when I was like 16, okay? Judge me. I don't give a fuck. I was into it. <laughs> and there was 3OH3. I was really into them. I was really into them. Um, and I just want to throw that out there. Because, you know, it was one of my favorite people and it was 303. I mean, there's no such thing as coincidence. Somebody please explain to me what this means, <laughs> okay? Um, and so 303 has come back into my life after disappearing for like two, three years. Um, and I, I got into a car crash. I was driving my mom's car and I got into a car crash. Um, and uh, we ended up being pulled over on the side and the cop, the police officer, asked the, the man and the woman who I crashed their car, he asked him, what, what apartment number do you live in? And the man said, apartment 303. And I was like, what? <sighs> and the immediate thought I said to myself, I said, okay, so this is divinely planned. That's the that's thought I had. I said it just like that in my mind. And it was pouring rain. And I ended up in this accident. I crashed into this woman's car. I was freaking out. I was like, oh my gosh. I was in the middle of the street. My glasses flew off my face. I was freaking out because I couldn't see shit. And it was raining. And, you know, I couldn't see it. Then my glasses on. I had to hurry up and put my glasses back on. And we got pulled over. And the man was like, and you please tell me your address, sir. And he was like, I live in apartment 303. Oh, God. Y'all. Y'all. Oh, God. This. <laughs> It's crazy. And it, it don't stop there. It don't. The craziness don't stop. 
Because also, when I was a baby, I almost died three times. I almost died three times. The umbilical cord was wrapped around my throat when I first came out of the womb. I also had something called neonative lupus, and a, a baby had died of the same thing previously before me, but I didn't die. And, oh boy. And I also had bacteria in the blood uh, as a baby um, because I wasn't able to get my shots because my mother was having health issues and she couldn't take me to get my shots because she was in the hospital herself. So three times I almost died as a baby. Um, and I was born on April 30th, 3-0 at 2.30 p.m. And the number 303 followed me for years. And then it disappeared for years and then it came back on the very day that I got into a car crash for the first time, a week after I got my license. Oh my gosh, and I just looked at that thing and it said 11-11. My time just said 11-11, just as soon as I looked up at it. And I had a crazy 11-11 synchronicity that lasted for a couple years that I'm gonna get to later on in the video. But I'm saying, I don't even know why I'm saying this to y'all, I don't know, God is just telling me like talk about it. So I'm talking about it. Somebody's gonna watch this and they're gonna benefit from it. And that's really why I make these videos is so that people can watch it and benefit from it. And so, life is magical, um, and I make these videos pretty much to let you all know that life is not what we think it is. We think life is just a simple, uh, you go to work, you come home, um, kind of thing, but, like, everything is divinely planned, and everything happens for a reason. And, uh, there is no coincidence, you know, every single thing in your life has been orchestrated by a higher power. Um, and you can say, no, everything, life is mediocre, life is whatever, you, life's a bitch and then you die, you can say what you want, but how do you explain all of, all of those, if, if, spiritual or not, how do you explain what I just explained to you without thinking that there is some type of supernatural phenomenon, this is a supernatural phenomenon, this is something that, how do you explain this without without saying this is not just science how, this can't just how do a person keep seeing this number at, at these specific times and that my eyes land on these numbers when nobody else's eyes around me lands on these numbers only my eyes when when i was watching the film with my friend she didn't notice the 303 on the door she didn't because those numbers were not meant for her to see it was for me only how do you explain that if there is no supernatural power behind life itself, then, then, then what, what is life? Who is orchestrating all this? If this means nothing, why is it happening? Okay, let's move on. Three, 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 three numbers, three in a row, three, three, three. This is another synchronicity that I saw a lot, along with 1111, and for a minute I saw 222. So, 333. I have a sister who, you know, we were very, very close when we were younger. Let me sip some of my wine, y'all. I'm gonna look real ghetto drinking from this bottle, but I ain't got a glass, so. It's Merlot. Ooh, that shit's strong. Okay, so I have a sister. We were very, very close. And I started getting into numerology a little bit later after I got into astrology. I got into astrology when I was 18. I feel like I started getting into numerology when I was like 21. And I found out that my life path number is five and her life path number is three. And she was literally the first person that I connected with on a deep, 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 deep level. We shared so many things in common and we both were into astrology and numerology and spiritual stuff and we would talk for hours about this stuff. We had a lot in common and I used to say she was my soulmate. I used to say she was my soulmate because I didn't have a connection with, like, with, with anyone like I had with her. And her life path was number three. And then there's this weird thing where like, you know, some of the celebrities that I end up having crushes on end up being life path number threes. Like the celebrities that I have really, really huge crushes on. And I find out they're life path number three. 
And like I said, like I said, I almost died three times when I was a baby. And three, three, three just be popping up. You know what I'm saying? And I might have to make a part two to this. But three, three, three just be popping up at just random times. And whenever something sacred or special happens, three, three, three follows. And I watched videos about people who talked about how 333 would show up as like a, they call it the Trinity or something like that. Um, and I remember that Jesus rose up after three days, you know, after he was nailed on the cross and he died. After he died, he rose up after three days. Um, and I don't know, I just remembered that, you know, it's just something that my mind just immediately referenced to. Um, and I think 333 is one of the most sacred biblical numbers just because Jesus rose up after three days and you know the Holy Trinity the Father the Son the Holy Ghost is also three the Father the Son the Holy Ghost um I don't know what it all means y'all I really don't and I would love for people in the comments to tell me what this means um and then there's 11 11 clocks I put clocks constantly I see 11 11 I kept seeing 11 11 on the clock constantly and then I had this, this, this girl come into my life who was kind of like a love interest, but we weren't like really, um, in a real relationship. It was like a fling type of thing. And she ended up being, she said she was a number 11, which she said she was a two and two is 11 because two look 11, 11. Um, I mean, one, one is 11. And, uh, I kept seeing 11, 11 on the clock. There was this time where this crazy thing happened every single time I would wake up. Almost every time, not every single time, but almost every time I would open my eyes, my eyes would land on 11, 11. Like when I would wake up from sleep, my eyes would open and then the clock would say 1, 11 or 11, 11. And this kept happening. And I kept seeing 11, 11 everywhere on the clocks and, you know, just, just everywhere, you know, just on like, like bottles and things, you know, like, like, uh, what do you call it? Like, like just detergent bottles and just weird stuff like that. I would just see 11, 11 everywhere. And a lot of times that would happen when I was like spiritually aligned or when I was getting in tune with my spiritual nature, when I was meditating more or when I was watching more spiritual videos or when I started to speak more positively about my life and things like that. You know, I feel like God and his angels would send 1111 to remind me that I was on the right track. It was always like a Sydney, you're on the right track, keep going kind of thing. So I kept seeing 11-11 and I do plan to get a tattoo of 11-11 and 3-3 or 3-0-3. 2-2-2. For a minute, I saw 2-2-2. I just see the number 2 and the number 11 is very significant. Excuse me. And then I noticed the building number of this building I passed hundreds of times. I noticed the number 2-11 when I didn't notice it really. I didn't pay attention to it. And all of a sudden, during the time that I saw my synchronicities, I all of a sudden my eyes opened and I saw 211. And uh 1111 is the number 4. 11. This is 11 and this is 11, right? No, come on. <laughs> this is 1111 11, and it, it, this is the number 4. And I was born in the month of April, which is the 4th month. And so that also was significant for me. It's the 4th month. Oh man, it's crazy. It's crazy. Um and uh yeah, um I wrote down that this is a sign also that directs you um in the right path you know in the right direction um a lot of times seeing certain numbers in certain locations it shows you that you're in the right place at the right time and that you should be where you are so um i just want to talk about that um because i you know this isn't really a informative video this is not a video to tell y'all what it means because I freaking don't know. <laughs> I just know that it is a divine phenomenon and it is a uh, God and his angels and your highest consciousness communicating with you. That's all I know. I'm not here to tell y'all what it means. If you want to know what it means, research it yourself because I don't really truly know. All I know is what I feel intuitively about the situation. Um, but yeah, I just want to talk about that. Uh, yeah, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, I don't want this to go over time. I hope that y'all enjoyed this. Um, I just want to explain that life is not what we think it is. Uh, it's, it's very spiritual and it's very sacred and everything happens exactly for a reason. Okay. Nothing is by accident. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hope y'all enjoyed this video.